Today we'll be reviewing the distributive property. But before we begin, let's review multiplying fractions and integers. 1 half times 8 equals 8 over 2. 1 half of 8 is 8 divided by 2, which is 4. 1 third times 6 is 6 divided by 3, which equals 2. 1 fourth times negative 12 is negative 12 divided by 4, which is negative 3. 1 six times negative 24 equals negative 24 divided by 6, which equals negative 4. 1 seventh times 14 equals what? 1 fourth, 1 seventh times 14 equals what? It equals 14 over 7, which equals 2. 1 fifth times negative 20 equals negative 20 divided by 5 which equals negative 4. 4. All right, let's go over the distributive property. The distributive property states that a times the quantity b plus c equals a b plus a c. a times the quantity b minus c equals a b minus AC. I want to highlight that. So here we have three pictures. We have someone dealing in deck of cards. We have a mail carrier delivering mail and we have someone giving out candy on Halloween. What do these three pictures have in common? Well in each picture something is being distributed. The distributive property is used in algebra to show multiple quantities of terms. The number on the outside is multiplied by every term inside the parentheses. So here we have someone giving candy to kids, and they would give each kid candy, four boys and three girls. So again, A times B plus C equals AB plus AC, and A times the quantity B minus C equals AB minus AC. So our first example, we have three times the quantity x plus 7. So 3 times x is 3x, and 3 times a positive 7 is a positive 21. 4 times 2m. 4 times 2 is 8, and m. 4 times a negative 5 is a negative 20. One-third times six. Well, remember, that's the same as six divided by three. So one-third of six is two, and we have a y. Minus, then we have three, one-third of three. So three divided by three is one. Okay, negative four times negative nine a. We have a negative times a negative, that's a positive. Four times nine is 36 and we have an A. 
we have a negative 4 times a negative 2. A negative times a negative is a positive. 4 times 2 is 8, and we have a C. One eighth times a negative eight x. So we have a positive times a negative, so it's a negative. And remember, we have eight, one eighth times eight, which is eight over eight, which is one. So we could write that one there. And then x. And then we have one eighth times a positive 56. So it's a positive 56 divided by eight equals seven. And a better way to write that, instead of a negative 1x, we would just write negative x plus 7. We have a negative times a negative, which is a positive, 3e. A negative times a negative is a positive, 7. We have a negative times a positive, which is a negative, 3 times 2 is 6, and a G. We have a negative times a negative, which is a positive. Three times one is three. We have a negative times a negative, which is a positive. Seven times three is 21, and we have A. A negative times a positive is a negative. Seven times eight is 56.